Hello and welcome to my YouTube channel, Viola A Vessel. It's good to see you again. I'm happy that you're here. I'm happy just to know that the Lord has kept you. Yes, this is the day that the Lord has made and I am purposing to rejoice. I'm purposing to be glad in it. You know, sometimes you go through uh, situations that would make you wonder if the Lord is near. And yes, he has said it in his word that he'll never leave nor forsake us. I thank God for those times that seem hard because first of all, he said that we should be thankful in all situations. Secondly, I have learned that when we go through these times, then we become better people, we become stronger people, we become understanding people, and we can encourage others who are going through the same. And we are being prepared for the next level. So let's thank God for the times that we go through, whether it's up in the mountain or down in the valley, let us thank God. So it's good to see you again. And today I'd like uh, you to invite the little ones because I have a nice Bible story for them. Yes, I'm a Sunday school teacher and so I love to engage the little ones and that's what I'll be doing today. So, Karibu, Jesus is powerful. Jesus is powerful. Hey, look at me, children. Oh! powerful I'm strong but you know what Jesus is powerful do you know the meaning of powerful powerful just means that he has the might he can heal he can make the lame walk he can answer your prayers he wipes your tears he hears our prayers when we pray. He does so many things because he's uh, powerful. Children, today we are going to see what Jesus did in a Bible story a long, long time ago. Are you ready to join in? I can't hear you. Yes, I heard you. So come on, get comfortable, sit down, and we will be talking about someone in the Bible that the Lord healed because Jesus is oh, powerful. Can you see this man? Let me bring him closer. His eyes are closed and his hands are stretched out. His name is Bartimaeus. Bartimaeus was born blind. That means that he could not see. He could not see the birds. He could not see the little pussy cat. He could not see the dog. He could not see the sky because he was born that way. But God loved him just like he loves you and he loves me. Now, Bartimaeus would sit by the road every day and ask for help. That's why his hands are stretched out. Can you see that? Now, Jesus was leaving the town of Jericho and a large crowd was following him together with his disciples. And Bartimaeus had these people pass by. It's not every day that many people pass by like they did on that day. Do you know what happened next? When he heard that Jesus was passing by, oh my, he shouted so loudly and said, Jesus, son of David, have mercy on me. And the people right next to him kept saying, Shh, don't yell so loudly. Just keep it down. 
Hmm. And when he still heard that Jesus was passing by, he shouted the more and said, Jesus, Jesus, son of David, have mercy on me. And so the people were like, hmm, this guy is not kidding. He really wants to hear what Jesus has to say, I guess. And so Jesus had his voice. Yes, Jesus had his voice. And you know what, children? Jesus hears us. Jesus does hear us. When you pray, he hears you pray. So don't you ever give up because he hears you and he hears me. So, Jesus said, go and bring that man to me. And so they went to where Bartimaeus was and said, hey, Jesus is calling you. He threw his coat and jumped up and he went to where Jesus was. Well, I guess the people led him to Jesus because he really could not even see the way. Can you see him with Jesus? And his eyes are still closed. Can you? And there are people around him. I guess those are, you know, the disciples of Jesus and many other people. And so Jesus asked him, what do you want me to do for you? And he said, teacher, I want to see. Do you know what happened next? Let me show you. Jesus said, go, your faith has healed you. <gasps> and instantly his eyes were opened and he was able to see. He could see the trees. <gasps> oh my goodness, he could see the little pussy cat. He could see his brothers. He could see the people around him. I'm sure he was so excited. Can you see his eyes? <gasps> They're open. He could even see Jesus. That was awesome. And that is what God does. He is a powerful God. He's able to do anything. Nothing is impossible with him. And that's our story for today. Jesus is powerful. Jesus is powerful. And that comes from the book of Mark, chapter 10, verse 46 to 52. So children, this Jesus is powerful. He hears our prayers and he loves it when we have him in our hearts. I pray for you. If you don't have Jesus in your heart, so that he can come into your heart, if you're at home or wherever you are, you can say this prayer. You can repeat after me. So let's close our eyes. Father, we thank you. Thank you for your son, Jesus Christ, who died on the cross for my sins. And today, I ask that you forgive me of my sins. Make me a new child. Make me a new person. I invite you into my heart that you may stay in my heart every single day. That I may do the things that you love. Thank you because you have done it in Jesus' name. Amen. Everybody say amen. Thank you boys and girls for watching. It was a pleasure to do this. Now, if you want more of this during the day and you live in Eldoret, Kenya, there's a place that you can come and you'll enjoy with us. This is a daycare that we have. It's called a Cradle for Cuddles. Um, it is a good place, a beautiful place for your child. That is if you live in Eldoret. We take care of your children and we talk about the word of God to them. They have a balanced diet. 
they have beautiful rooms to sleep in they have good teachers they have good food and i'd like you to visit us it's along el Gayo road right next to sirico pentecostal fellowship central it is the gate just after so you can inbox me you can talk to me and i'll guide you to our daycare cradle for cuddles you could call it k4k please bring your child you will not be disappointed so until next time thank you so much i hope i've spoken to your child if you want me to do more bible stories let me know and thank you so much please subscribe share and like this video so until next time kwaheri